Welcome back, my friends. My name is Rabbit. I think our maintenance crew is finally done mowing the lawn. Although knowing my luck, I'm sure my neighbors will start playing racquetball against our wall. And welcome to episode 112 of our 100% item guide and walkthrough for Legend of Lagaya. In our previous episode, we devoted the entirety of the video to tackling Songi for what is hopefully the last fucking time. He has been a pain in our asses throughout numerous occasions during our journey through the world of Lagaya, trying to help different people and he's always there fucking it up for us or just you know being a sassy bitch i'm sick of his bullshit and i'm sure you guys are too so we just took him out and now we are ready to see his reaction to being defeated so he starts off by saying no the rasaru is separating from my body of course it is you're weak brah <laughs> look at me gala how pitiful i am even with the power of the Rasaru, I couldn't, couldn't defeat. Ugh. Songi, what's wrong? And even after all of this, you guys, we have constantly given this douchebag chance after chance to either apologize, even after everything that transpired up until recently when we were in Rim Elm, trying to start our lives over and Songi showed up. Gala and Noah were still carrying on about how, yeah, you need to apologize, Songy, and I'm guessing that if he had, we would have just let him, I don't know, get away with everything. So even now, it seems like we're concerned about him, but I think we should have just slit his throat several, several game hours ago. Anyway, he continues, ugh, my whole body hurts. I can't take it. The Serukai is a world intolerance of the presence of ordinary human beings. Oh... So since his Rasaru is separating, now that he has lost his Seru, Songi will return to nothingness. Gala, Gala, the pain is unbearable. You're my friend. Help me. Ozma, can't we do something for him? I can't believe we're falling for this again. I'm sorry, but he can no longer exist in the Seru Kai. Arg. We should not feel sorry for him. I don't feel sorry for him, do you? Curse all you, Seru. Is this all your powers can do? Gala, you, you're next. Seru and Rasaru, they're all the same. They're all useless. Good for nothing, Seru. <laughs> what a way to go. And I'm supposed to have some level of pity for this guy? Not me. They're lucky I'm not on the team because I would have bitch slapped Gala and been like, are you fucking out of your mind? This guy has been a sack of shit from the time that you knew him before he got involved in all of our affairs. Get it together, Gala. Seriously. Songy. Well, trash took itself out, I say. Tara, let's give life to the great Genesis tree. Why so silent, Tara? Tara, what's wrong? It's no use, Noah. The great Genesis tree is too weak to be revived. What? You mean the great Genesis tree is going to die? Then we need to get the fuck out of here because if our Rasaru disappear, we will have the same fate as Sonny. So this is no time to fuck around. Look, the Serukai sky, it's changing. Uh-oh. Tara. Tara, we need more than just silence. Tara, Tara. The Rasaru are growing weaker too. The great Genesis tree is almost dead. No. Are our lives to expire with the Serukai? Von Gala, let's pray. Let's pray to the great Genesis tree. Our faith is all we have left. Von, let's try. I mean, we might as well. Great Genesis tree, if you die, the Serukai will also die. Not to mention our world. 
so will the Rasaru Terra and Ozma and Maida and us too. We'll all die. Please come back to life. I don't know if this is going to work, but it's worth a shot. Great Genesis tree. Show us a miracle. Give life back to the bodies ruined by the evil Simsiru. Vaughn, you must pray as well. Vaughn, pray. We must all pray together. Come back to life. Come back to life. I feel like we should have a song going on. Great Genesis tree, hear our prayers. Is it gonna work? I mean, this is the only shot we have. And thinking about it, I was talking in our last episode about how we're in the Noaru Valley, and I know the name is familiar, and we have heard that mentioned before. And I think where it's from is at the very start of the game when May's dad died during that failed hunt. I believe where they shipped off all the bodies when Ramelm was kind of taken over and Vaughn first met Maida, I think they said that souls go to the Valley of Noaru or Noaru Valley. So I believe that this is a specific part of the Serukai that humans don't know a lot about and they just assume, I guess, it's kind of like some sort of transitionary point between heaven and earth. I'm assuming that's how the humans of Lagaya perceive it. And I think the other part of the Serukai we have visited, I think Rogue's Tower is in Serukai. So I think Serukai itself is like a huge world or realm for the Seru. And then within that realm, there are various places and areas for us to explore. Although we haven't explored many of them. The only two were Rogue's Tower and Noaru Valley. Anyway, just thought I would share that with you guys because that was a little confusing to me when I first thought about it, but I think that is how we're supposed to interpret our exposure to the Serukai. Either way, let us continue with Noah saying, look! But correct me if I'm wrong in my interpretation. The three faces of the past, the present, and something, now something. Oh, it's Hari! Hopefully you guys had a chance to read it. They love to scroll through when I'm not ready and then let me take my sweet ass time when I am ready. So whatever it said, hopefully you guys can just pause it, read it. It is Hari. Woohoo, it's been a while. Didn't I tell you that someday we would meet at an unlikely place? Hari! So did Hari hear our prayers? Hari. But you disappeared into the earth below Con or Octum, not Conkrum. That was a while ago. The god of time, Rem, also known as Teague. The prophecies of Rem, they are the words of Teague. The spirit of Teague that resides in this body has given us words that transcend time. Our bodies have died, but the death of our bodies has given our souls immortality. Like Teague, our spirits are now beings that transcend time. Brave Rasaru, the will of Teague will show you the path you must take. It is our mission to carry out the will of Teague. Is Hari going to give the great Genesis tree life? Let's hope so. I can't imagine why else they would reveal themselves. So we had the past Hari, present Hari, and future Hari? I think those are all of them. The great Genesis tree is fated to die and we cannot reverse that. Oh no! But the Serukai. All we can do is give the last of shining power to nurture the life of the great Genesis tree. Well, let's see. What can they make happen? Last one to go. It is kind of nice that we are reunited with Hari once again, though. I always felt like, at least the first time I played this, and, you know, afterwards reflecting on it, I always got that impression that the events 
of Octum kind of left you with a bad taste in your mouth, almost as though you part ways from that town with it kind of unresolved, you know, the events. I mean, you freed everyone from being trapped underground and they were able to return to the surface, but just everything with Hari, I don't know, it just always made me kind of sad. But in a sense, it did still technically have a happy ending and that is reinforced by Hari's reappearance here. So Hari continues by saying, all our power has entered the great Genesis tree. Now we shall attain complete nothingness, but fate and your will are one and the same. Make your own fate with your own hands. Goodbye, Rasaru heroes. No, Hari! So they sacrifice their spirit to revive the great Genesis tree. Now it's game over for Hari. Well, in a sense, I guess Hari is technically within the great Genesis tree. We'll see what our teammates have to say about this. Noah. Tara, Tara, are you all right? You don't have to worry about me, Noah. Worry about the great Genesis tree. Noah, Vaughn, let's give the Rasaru the power of the great Genesis tree. Let's do it. I still feel sad for Hari though. But I suppose it can't be helped. Sacrifice after sacrifice after sacrifice has been made throughout our journey. So I suppose this, this shouldn't be an exception. Oh, what a beautiful tree. So with the power of the Genesis tree, Maida's level increased to eight, Terra's to seven, and Ozma to six. Thank you, Vaughn. We have received the ultimate power. Now we can do something about Juggernaut. But we must hurry. Hari gave the great Genesis tree life, but I do not know how long that life force will last. The Genesis trees in the human world are linked to the Serukai. We must go to Rim Elm. But my friends, we are not quite ready for that. Let's finish up this scene. And then I will share something with you. We've got a few little side quests that we will tackle before we're ready to endure the final boss fight that I'm sure you're aware will transpire within Rim Elm. Does this look familiar? And this is a track I think two episodes ago I was trying to explain to you is my absolute favorite with the Serukai music being number two. I cannot remember what this track is called. I know it's, I was thinking initially it was called Cave of Warmth, but that's a different song when you're inside Mount Rikuroa. So I don't remember what this song is called, but I love it. What is this Mount Rikuroa? Rim Elm's Genesis tree is dead, so we came here. I have a bad feeling about this. Vaughn, let's hurry to Rim Elm. Will everything be okay? Well, we can't dwell on that, Noah. We have to just go. But before we do that, like I was starting to say, uh, let's actually use Galas to heal us up. We have a couple of side questy sort of things. So before I tackle the, the first task that I want us to witness for this episode, as you guys are well aware, we have a few places that we need to pop in and out. We have two things actually that we need to do back at Soul in the Muscle Dome. We do have an optional side boss that we'll be tackling. I am planning on running us through the majority of Rim Elm just so that we can get all the treasures and everything within it. We won't actually take on the final boss until we've exhausted everything to assure that we will, um, um, what am I trying to say? That we will manage to acquire, I guess, uh, that 100% item completion ranking at the end. So we want to make sure that we are bulking up our items, going through, doing everything we can do. And there is one task 
that I'm actually not going to undertake, but it will not count towards our item completion. So I don't want to get too much into it. I just sort of wanted to give you a rough overview of what you can expect for the next few episodes. We are incredibly close to the end of the game. However, I am going to make sure we see some of these final side questy things. So let's kickstart some of our optional or extra secret stuff by checking out this tree here. So it says, I hear a voice from beyond the Genesis tree. It's Hari, Noah and Tara, human and Rasaru who have traveled from the past. Teague now gives you the last of his power for you to use to correct history. So with the power of the Genesis tree, Tara's level actually increases yet again to level eight. So Tara's true powers have come out. I've given you the last of my power, my very spirit. So Hari's spirit is now within Terra, and I guess you could say Noah as a result. And why is this important? Dun dun na You now have access to Terra as a summon. So not just a Rasuru that talks to you, but we can actually see Terra in the battlefield. So if you look at the description here, she summons Queen Twister, I should say cast Queen Twister, which attacks all enemies for 240 MP. So I am not going to draw this out. We obviously have to do this for Vaughn and Gala as well. And I'm sure some of you who may be following along are wondering, you know, what kind of triggers or spawns this. The only thing you really need to worry about is that Noah has unlocked all of her arts. If you've missed even one, you will not be able to get that final power up from Hari. So make sure that you have unlocked all of her arts. If you haven't been doing it as I've been learning everything, that is so easy and accessible online. You can literally just type in Legend of Lagaya list of arts and they are posted in a myriad of places throughout the internet. So that shouldn't be a barrier for you. So once you have all of those arts, you can check out this tree to unlock Tara's true potential and final form. So when we come back together in our next episode, we are going to really get going with some more of the side questy things. And we will start off by unlocking the potential of Ozma as well as Meta. And then we'll probably tackle one of the two things I want us to do at Seoul, specifically in the Muscle Dome. And then we'll just kind of decide from there what order we want to take on the rest of the secret stuff that I want to share with you. So we'll worry about that in our upcoming episode. So for now, thank you very much for watching. I am your host, Rabbit, and this is my 100% item guide and walkthrough for Legend of Lagaya. I will see you very shortly, everyone.